Peasant Shelter System is engaged in developing and implementing world-class protection systems for buildings. The activities and the research of the company are focusing on implementing internationally proven methods and systems to address the problems of concrete structures resulting out of various factors like earthquake and general deterioration of concrete. Bizin Shelter System has introduced floating foundation and complete protection plan building systems for the first time in India. The needs of modern age demand us to make clusters of high-rise structures in limited space. We spend our valuable time and resources to make them safe. We want them to protect us from every possible change occurring in nature. But sometimes, best of our efforts get shattered. Here, we witness how natural calamities shatter our hopes and beliefs of strength and durability. In a short span of time, an earthquake imposes considerable damage to many of the buildings. Still, some buildings survive the effect of earthquakes. The measure of damage varies with the effect of tremors. Same time, the measure of damage varies with the manner the building is constructed. Design of foundations and materials used in construction have a vital role in resisting seismic waves. Major amount of high-rise structures are built on piled foundations. Tremors of earthquake affects the piles and they move. Equal weight distribution does not take place. Because of uneven settlements, cracks form on buildings. When the tremors are more, weight distributed to any one part of the building would be more. Building collapses in that direction. The effect of tremors are moderate on raft foundations due to its compactness. Still, cracks are developed as the foundation does not have any space to accommodate the tremors. The effect of earthquake is minimal in floating foundations due to its balanced movement. In a floating foundation, balanced movement helps the structure to regain its original position when the seismic force disturbs it. Due to its balanced movement, weight is distributed equally on all sides. 
the space between the semicircles allows the movement of foundation with respect to the seismic movements this eliminates the chance of uneven settlements the structure can withstand the effects considerably This advantage is proven in Illinois, Chicago and the film city of Los Angeles where tremors occur frequently. All systems have their own advantages and drawbacks to the user's requirement. But the ultimate question is whether we are able to make a system that is durable and strong. Strengthening the concrete is a solution to withstand the effect of seismic tremors. When the concrete is compact, it can withstand the effect of seismic tremors in an effective manner. As a general practice, concrete is reinforced with steel alone. Cavities in concrete make it less compact. This allows capillary rise of water, bringing it in contact with steel reinforcement. Over a period, the oxidation of steel weakens the concrete. This problem can be solved by replacing steel with mineral reinforcements that do not corrode. Researchers are on their way to develop basalt as reinforcement. To a major extent, we can counter the oxidation of steel by using fibers and microsilica into concrete. Fiber reinforced concrete blended with special polymers and microsilica forms a compact, high strength structure. Fibers added to concrete form an extra reinforcement within the concrete and make it compact, strong, durable and prevents crack formation. The use of polymers provides cohesiveness and limits the moisture absorption of concrete up to a maximum of 5%. This compact nature of concrete prevents the capillary rise of water and reduces oxidation. The judicious use of fibers and microsilica reduces the consumption of steel reinforcement and concrete as a whole. We save an average of up to one third of steel this way. Use of fibers acts as additional micro reinforcement and micro silica enables the concrete to achieve superior strength, thereby providing for the reduction in the thickness of slabs, columns and beams. A cost saving of nearly 35% is possible in a protection planned system. It is ultimately the choice of the users to select the required system that suit their surroundings. But when we go for concrete structure, it should be ensured that it can withstand seismic movements. It is a fact that polymer modified, fiber reinforced and micro silica blended concrete achieves extra strength to withstand the movements. Such concrete becomes much more durable and serviceable than the ordinary concrete which is being used today. A live example of the total protection plan building system is the eco links constructed by Bison Shelter System at the NH Bypass Edapalli, Kochi. The structure is built on floating foundation. Human beings do not have any control on natural forces, but we can do a lot for our own protection rather than just depending on rapid action force to organize rescue operations. Government and local bodies may insist on protection plan building systems. We should aim at systems and methods that perform in the long run. To recall an old proverb, prevention is better than cure.